Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In this episode, I'll be showing you how you can write to an NFC tag. And in, if you want to know how you can read an NFC tag, please remember to click on the video that I previously produced. Now, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how it works. Again, please forgive me for the poor design. I just needed to show you how you can write to a tag. So I'm going to go ahead and say Mastering Programming. And then I'm going to select Write to Tag. And if I bring my tag next to it, as you can see, it says right and def message successful. Now let's go ahead to an app and remove this and let's go ahead and click on scan. And as you can see, my tag now stores mastering programming, which is exactly what we wrote here. If you're interested in how to do this, please continue until the end of the video. Or if you'd like to see how you can read an NFC tag, please check out my previous video and I will link it ahead. Also, feel free to communicate with me, email me on the email that I'll include below and hire me if you'd like or to speak to me about your ideas and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good day and please enjoy the rest of this video. Welcome back everybody. So the first thing we need to do is actually head to the, the project name and then we need to go to signing and capabilities. Make sure you have a unique bundle identifier and then we're going to click on capability and then we're going to type in knee field communication and double click on that. Now this will only work if you have a paid Apple developer account. Now it's asking for something, it's saying that this is not unique enough apparently. So I'm going to say tutorial. And now it works. Let's go ahead and head move to info.plist and inside the information property list, you're going to click and then you're going to click on P, R, I, and now we're going to look for privacy for the NFC. So privacy, NFC scan, usage description. Inside our value, we're simply going to say for scanning tags. There we go. Now we need to move to our main storyboard and inside of here I want us to create a text field and inside that text field that's when we're actually going to write our message so we're going to be able to write a message here and when we click on write to tag we're going to write this message onto the tag so first of all let's actually change the background here into Maybe just like any color that, that differentiates this. I know it doesn't look the best. And let's also add a button. And I'm just going to center it over here. And I'm going to say right to tag. And let's give this a white background. And maybe a black. Writing. So again, the style is not really important. This is just to, to demonstrate uh, the app, uh, but really the styling, I'm not really focusing on it. I'm not trying to make it look good or anything. Let's go ahead and open our assistant. And we need to drag and drop our text field up here. And I'm going to, say, uh, to call it NFC message. And I'm going to say connect. We then need to do the same thing for the button. So I'm simply going to click on the button and drag and drop it over here. And I'm going to say right to, sorry, right to button. And I'm going to say connect. And now we can actually start working with the NFC side of things. So I'm simply going to say import core NFC. And then we need to, um, to insert or pass in the NFC delegate. So I'm simply going to pass in NFC end of reader session delegate. And it's going to throw a whole bunch of errors at you. And it's going to say um, pretty much that you're not conforming to that. Let's go ahead and click on control B. And yeah, we're simply going to have all these errors. Also, we're getting an error because I didn't spell it correctly. Now it will not. It will show a different error, but it will still be an error. We then need to create an object that will carry an NFC reader session. So let's go at the top, and I'm going to say var session 
and we say that this is an NFC NDF reader session and because it's an optional we have to pass in our question mark inside our write to button we actually want to start the NFC session so I'm going to say I'm going to say session is equal to NFC NDF reader session delegate it's going to be self queuing we're going to have new oh, sorry queuing is going to be new and invalidate after first read we want that to be true so we want it to stop looking for tags after it detects the first one after that we're going to create our message and we're going to say nfc session question mark dot alert message and we're going to say hold your iPhone knee an endf tag to write the message kind of explains itself after that we actually need to now begin our NFC session so I'm simply going to say session question mark begin great now we need to create some more functions in order to make this disappear. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in func. I'm gonna go ahead and say reader session. And I'm gonna select the second one. And we actually don't need to write anything inside this um, function. So I can remove this one and add it over here just to make it more organized. Now we're going to write our function, the main one that will actually write handle errors and all this kind of stuff. It's again going to be called reader session. So we're simply going to say func reader session. And this time I'm going to be selecting the first one. And the first thing we need to do is actually transform. So it, anything written here will be interpreted as string, as UTF-8. We actually need to change that into data whether it's bytes or a hex or something like that, in order to store it on our NFC tag. So this is the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to be transforming anything inside of this into a UINT8 or anything that can be passed on as data. So let's go ahead and say var str. And I'm going to say that this is a string. And let's go ahead and actually pass the text field so i'm going to say nfc message dot text and so just to explain this is the one we received where is it sorry it's the one we created um over here there we go now just because sometimes it actually shows errors and it says uh, that this is outside of our scope that we can instead create another object over here and we're going to call this one var the actual message and inside our button when we call when we begin this what we can do is that we can say the actual message is equal to nfc text just so that we can avoid getting possible errors And this needs to be force unwrapped. There we go. And now he, we can pass over the actual message. There we go. Great. Now we need to change the str into a uint8 in order to actually pass it. So I'm going to create, sorry for that. So I'm going to create another variable. And this one is going to be called str to uint8. And we first need to specify what it, what the type is. So I'm going to say UI NT8. And now we actually need to give it something. So I'm going to say UI NT8. And inside here, inside a bracket, we need to pass an STR. And what kind is STR? It's a UTF-8. Not UI NT, uh, UTF-8, just UTF-8. And now STR carries this message, but in data, in the data form. So after that, we actually need to begin um, 
right into the tag. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste it to avoid doing a lot of mistakes because a lot of people complained about my first video for that. And I will go through it and explain how it works. So let me control A and then control I. There we go. So obviously a lot of stuff is happening here. Um, what is it? Okay, let's go through it. So I guess we can close this for now. Let's go ahead and go to our view controller. Okay, so we first created that um, method which allows us to change our message from the text field into data. We then checked here if there is more than one tag, we actually cannot make a scan because we won't know which tag to write to. So we're simply going to say if tags count is greater than one, if there's more than one tag, we need to stop scanning and we're going to tell the user more than one tag is detected, please remove all tags and try again. Let's say there is no error, there is only one tag, well, now we need to connect to that tag. So we're going to create an object called tag and we're going to pass over the first tag we detected. We're then going to start a connection with that tag, as you can see, connect to the tag that we detected and there's two room for errors and let's say there is for whatever reason there is a problem in the tag you cannot connect to it we want to create another alert message saying unable to connect to the tag let's say uh, we couldn't query the tag we want to say unable to query the end of status of the tag now after that this is when it becomes important so let's say um, that the tag is not supported we need to tell them that we need to tell the user that the tag is not supported let's say someone locked the tag and you can no longer re uh, write to it we need to let them know that if it's a read only tag then we should say to the user this is a read only tag but what happens if we can actually read and write to the tag so this is what we wanted what if we can finally do it well we need to write our message and as you can see we say tag dot write and f and then we pass in our records and because we're only passing one record here we need to actually create this. So all of this is our end of message. The first thing we need to say is we need to um, identify what kind of tag is it. Is an LFC well known? Let me just remove this and demonstrate what I mean. If I type in dot here, you can tell that you can either write a URL to the tag, you can write make sure that it's an empty tag, a media tag, an NFC external. NFC well known. In my case, I just want to write plain text. So I'm simply going to select NFC well known. I would definitely recommend you looking into the types. And then depending on what tag you're going to be using, you're going to be finding different kind of parameters to pass here. I'm using uh, the chip 213. So these are the tag, this is the stuff that I'm passing and I would recommend using it as well. And now for the actual payload, the actual message that you're passing. As you can see, it's saying we have an error and that's because I actually spelled it wrong over here. It needs to be the exact one we created at the top. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to pass it over here and I forgot the eight. And are we getting any errors? Yes, we are at the top because there's still one more function to fill. But as you can see, we've, we passed on the data and this is our message. This is technically whatever was written on that text field. That's not it. It is it to writing to the tag, but now we actually need to complete the job to finish it off. And this is what we're going to do. So we're going to create another function and this one is going to be called func and we're going to say reader session did become active and we're going to remove everything inside. And we need to create another one and we're going to say func reader session. And this time we're going to call did invalidate with error. So let's say we just ended it because there was an error, so any of this stuff, we need to end it. And again, I'm just going to copy it just to avoid any spelling or errors. As you can see, they're very common. So let's go ahead and copy it and pass it inside. Now I'm going to select it all and click on Control I just to make things look better. And believe it or not, we are actually done um, with the part where we write to the tag. So let me run this and I'll show you that we can write to the tag. Okay, so now that the app actually managed to run, and this is my actual phone, by the way, otherwise you will not be able um, to run any NFC capabilities on a simulator. So I'm gonna go to an app that you can download from the App Store, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that there's actually nothing stored on this tag. So I'm gonna click on scan, 
I'm going to bring my NFC tag next to it. And as you can see, it just says zero. I just couldn't be bothered to put an empty tag on it. So it just says zero for now. Um, but let's go back to the app that we created, which is SDASD. And as you can see, it's still running at the background. So I'm going to move back. And again, this looks horrible, I know, but I just wanted to demonstrate. So I'm going to say David Bullis, and I'm going to say Mastering Programming. And I spelled mastering completely wrong. So I'm going to say mastering programming. Well, there we go. And I can go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and click on right to tag. And it says right end the message successful. So now let's go back to the NFC scan app and see if it actually managed to write the thing successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and type in and click on scan. I'm going to bring my tag close. And as you can see, it says David Bullis. Mastering programming, so this works. Now, um, just some cool tips. Let's say you want to see more details about the tag that you have. You can go to NFC Tag Info by NXP, and let's go ahead and actually open the app. And if you click on Scan and Launch, and then bring the tag close by, you'll be able to see the actual representation, the bytes written on this tag, which is what we transferred the string to. And then you get to see the David Bolus. Uh, mastering programming representation next to it. You also get to see how much is stored. So it's 32 bytes and it's an NFC well known. As you remember, we set it up as where is it? NFC well known and that will always be the type of the NFC that we have. Um, that's pretty much it for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope that you can now write to an NFC tag. Please remember that if you want to see how you can read an NFC tag, you can go ahead and watch my first video. Now, also, um, I've been getting a lot of requests on uh, from people to, for, to hire me to write them an NFC app or an application in general. And I just wanted to put it out there and make it absolutely clear that I am available to be hired. I have more than three, three years experience with NFC um, capabilities and iOS development in general. I also know how to make Android devices and I'll, hopefully I'll be bringing android uh, app tutorials soon uh, but for now if you're really looking forward to it or if you have an amazing idea that you just simply like to discuss with me please leave a comment or email me on the email that i will include in the description and i am at the moment working on a website where you also be able to communicate with me through it until then have a good day enjoy the video and good luck with your with the rest of your projects